intuitive 717 I am back with another video so today I wanted to share a quick reading with you guys about how the masculine is perceiving the feminine at this time so for many of you you might be experiencing feelings or emotions towards your masculine that seems a lot more gentle maybe you weren't feeling his energy at all before and now it's starting to come in and it feels a little bit more peaceful it feels more calm and what I think that he has experienced through this cycle of silence or separation is humility. Some of you divine feminines, you've had conflict with your masculine, but you've put up really healthy boundaries because I feel like this is just the natural balance between the both of you and that natural pairing between the both of you. He might be very stubborn and hard-headed and then you might be all of those things times 10. <laughs> so it's like you both end up learning a thing or two about each other and I feel like this natural balance comes from helping you to heal these exact qualities about each other. Now I hear him feeling like he thinks that you're running from the connection or pulling away a little bit. And I think that's completely normal and okay for him to experience at this point because I think the Divine Feminines have been there and we've gotten through it and I think now it's their turn and their time to really get through those emotions on their own. So if you are experiencing separation or silence and you're really tempted to like reach out even though you know that the last conflict that you had needs to be you know somewhat repaired on his end then allowing him the opportunity to experience that growth is really important right now because I've been there too where I've experienced conflict with my masculine and you know on a human level it's like he's gotten really out of line and then it's like you want to reach out again because you experience that forgiveness and that love but something in it just doesn't feel right and I think it's that spirit puts that block in that way for a reason because they also have work to do in terms of overcoming their emotions and overcoming their pride and being more humble and no one teaches them this lesson more than the feminine because of the love that they have for her so with that being said i will use the sacred rebels deck just to you know really see how it is he's feeling so releasing allegiances Okay, so right away I can see I wrote in pen here, no distractions. Um, I'll show it to you guys as well. So I feel like the last few readings have had that energy as well. And he's gone into conflict with the feminine. And when he does, it's like he becomes a different person in front of other people. He's needing support at this time for this emotional upheaval that he's feeling about the connection with the feminine but that's also allowing him to see just how mundane a lot of the connections are in his life and when he goes into that hermit mode or that silent space he gets to know himself more and more and more and i feel like anyone experiencing this journey can at some point or another say that it does take us to the energy of the hermit and if you look at the expression on the face too it's like really really in love feeling this intense love too does come with some guilt and regret about how things could have been a lot of you feminines might be married or you have children and you might have felt a lot of pressure from your masculines in order to meet or make something happen in the physical. Something about it didn't seem authentic. And that also put divine feminines in a space of having to really think about what we want on this journey. It's allowed us to go into a healthy place and it feels like we're running in his eyes, but I think that's necessary to put up boundaries. The both of you have spent a lot of time cutting people out of your lives who 
I think intuitively you know won't be supportive on your connection and whether you both knew it or not like why you were falling out of alignment with these people I feel like when you look back now you will see and know that these are people that you could have never shared your twin flame journey with and because it's rapidly manifesting in so many of our lives it's like we're being protected by the awareness too that we have about certain people and I think he wonders too if like the feminine has gone through this space and like not wanted to be around him now maybe cutting him off but he's going to have to get to that place of understanding that there's really no physical end to the connection and I think he respects the feminine for having these boundaries or because he can still feel her around energetically even though in his eyes he thinks the connections come to an end or that she's running away from him at this time he still feels her around in telepathy as we've been there many times where we've tried to like disconnect from them but still feel them around right so now he's going through that while the feminines are very, very focused on their pentacles and their spiritual path. We still feel them and we still love them, but, you know, we've let go of a lot of the lower energies of this connection and now experiencing it on a higher level. And he's just on his way to uh, doing that now. I have the sun card come out. And I think that's a beautiful, beautiful card to sum up what's on its way once he does get through this hermit or hanged man energy. Because I feel like with the hanged man too, it puts us in a place of understanding the wisdom and the knowledge that we're gaining. And it takes us away from the illusions of the physical world. He's resting now because nothing beats us up or makes us more exhausted than negative feelings like regret sadness depression but he will move through that and the sun's on the other side the sun is almost coming up and there will be a lot of fruit to enjoy there's roses in this card too in the background a lot of passion a lot of love maybe even getting away i feel like this masculine wants to get away with his feminine and spend some time alone with her without any distractions or running into someone they might know. He he might even want to like take a vacation somewhere sunny. Maybe you're a divine feminine who really likes the beach and you've mentioned this and he's always remembered that and he fantasizes a lot about taking you near the beach. And I feel a lot of completion with this card too. Good times are on the way. He will be in a state of bliss because when he wasn't taking the time out to explore the deeper sides of this connection, he was experiencing a lot of cycles that was making him feel really tossed around, energetically really tired, and he was avoiding going into the space of the hermit. He was avoiding spending that time alone because I think <laughs> it's like nothing scares him more than facing his emotions. He would rather distract himself with work earning money, just being out there in the physical world. But now he's seeing the strength that the feminine has because of how easily she can retreat to this place and find peace and solace. So dealing with these feelings while in separation, it's more peaceful for the connection. Okay, well I hope this reading finds you all well and um, just gives you a quick update on how the masculines are feeling towards the feminine. Take care and I'll speak to you.